Hey guys, y'all know Bob from RDC Fine Homes? This guy is a master at some high performance construction. Bob, thanks for giving me a tour today. You're very welcome. So, you know, mechanical rooms are my favorite place to be. We've got a gorgeous house around us. There's a staircase on the other side of this wall that's beautiful. And yet, where did I want to film with Bob? In the mechanical room. <laughs> All right, Bob, so what are these blue furnaces? I've never seen this before. What are we looking at here? So these are uh, right-sized furnaces made by a Quebec company called Detson. Okay. Uh, what's really cool about this furnace, this is the smallest furnace made in North America. Smallest furnace Eight, made in North America. 18,000 BTU gas furnace. That's tiny, 18,000 uh, BTU, that's yeah. nothing. And so we have, a, we have a zone system in the house, uh -huh. it's three zones. So we actually did a split system. So the bigger furnace uh, taking care of two zones on the upper floor. Okay. Uh, the smaller furnace managing the load on the bottom floor here. And and so in combined, we're talking about a really low load house too, right? Which is a testament to your high performance walls probably as well, oh, right? That's right. So we have a total heat loss of under forty thousand BTUs. Damn. Uh, for a thirty five hundred square foot house. That's great. Which is yeah really reflective of uh, really tight um, and really good thermal performance on walls, foundation. Wow. Yeah, so really tight envelope, including Bob was telling me earlier he did air bear in this job to get a really tight envelope, really high performance walls, a super insulated roof, and a really good window and door package too, right? That's right. So tell me how this furnace then works. I've never seen this before. It looks like it's sort of a hybrid. I've, I'm seeing um, Freon coming in here. I'm seeing a gas line coming in. I saw outlet pipes that look like they were PVC pipes. What's the story behind this? So this is a full modulating gas furnace. Okay. Uh, connected to two outdoor cold climate heat pumps. So uh, the two LEZ heat pumps will provide heating. We figure it down to about zero degrees Celsius. Okay. And then once the temperature outside drops below the efficiency level of the ability of the cold climate heat pumps, then we switch over to the gas furnace here. Got it. And so being a more fully modulating furnace, if we only have a call for uh, heat in one zone, you know, 5,000 BTUs, and the furnace is only going to fire at 5,000 BTUs. Wow, it can modulate that low. Yeah. That's amazing. And so what we did is we did heat loss calculations room by room for the entire house to make sure that we had right sized equipment. Yep. Uh, and then this whole setup was designed by Detson uh, based on the heat loss calculations that we calculated from our energy model. That's so cool. So PLA 2000, which is the model we use in Canada, similar to a HERS rating in the United States, okay. uh, gives us those calculations that we can then use to not only size our furnaces, but to engineer our duct runs and duct sizing. That's cool, Bob. And then obviously it's really high efficiency because we're bringing in combustion air with PVC, we're exhausting with PVC, which is great for a high performance envelope. We can seal that down, we don't have some metal flue going through the building. Tell me about on the other side of this wall though, Bob, I saw a bunch of like PVC pipes that looked like those were outlets. What's going on with that? So Detson engineered their own uh, delivery system, which they called their Detson Smart Duct System. Huh. And they had their engineers really measure how airflow is distributed in a room. So what we have is something that looks a little bit like a high velocity system, but really is what they refer to as a medium velocity. So you'll see interspersed around the whole house, you'll see round diffuser holes. There's covers that will go on them shortly. Okay. Uh, and the whole thing is engineered so that it extends the, uh, the ceiling acts as an extension of the plenum. Okay. And the idea is it throws the air, it sticks to the ceiling, and then as it gets to the outside walls, it dips down. And the modeling that I've seen uh, shows that the distribution of conditioned air really gets to all four corners of every house, okay. every room. So with our, with our airtight envelope, really good thermal performance, we get incredible heat distribution. And uh, a lot of people will comment uh, that they think the house has inflow radiant heat. Uh -huh. uh, because all the surfaces are essentially warm to the touch in the same way that you would get with an older traditional, traditional radiant That's cool. heat system. Now as we're talking, I've got a little cold air blowing on the back of my neck. This is not a uh, traditional water heater either, is it? What do we got going on back here? No, this is Reams heat pump hot water uh -huh. uh, tank. This is actually the first one uh, that we've installed. Is that right? Uh, so really excited to see um, how this works. I've had good success with these, Bob. I put the very first unit uh, that they made, this is like Gen 5 now, I believe. And I put their Gen 1 unit into a project in 2009 or 8. And I've been back to visit, and 10 years later, it's still going strong. Still going it's been, strong. A great, been a great unit. Yeah, so These are a lot more efficient today than they were back yeah. then. Actually, I was just down at the Tech Home Summit 
uh, in Maryland. I got back last night at 1.30 in the morning. Oh my gosh. Uh, and had a great presentation uh, from Reem uh, on this particular model. And really made me feel good that That's we had unit. installed it. In yeah. This house. yeah. That's quality unit. Now what's this sweet looking silver box up here talking about, the, about this guy? So I'm sure you know what this is. This is a heat recovery ventilator, yep. or better known HRV. The is an HRV. Uh, we exclusively use the Benmar brand. Okay. Um, this one. Uh, Canadian company, right? Ben Canadian Mark? company. Actually, uh, Benmar Van E were the first guys to invent. They are the inventor of the HRV. Is that right? I didn't know from, that. From what I understand, That's they cool. are the first mass market producers of HRVs. Okay. Uh, Energy Star rated. So in Canada, of course, that means it's been tested down to minus 25 degrees Celsius. Wow. And so the performance numbers that we get on this are those numbers tested down to that cold temperature. As opposed to some of the European brands, which are only tested to minus to zero degrees Celsius. Yeah. So and that's, that's what this is, right? Because you actually have a the ability to uh, defrost that core, and there might be some condensate that comes out. Yeah. So you're catching that condensate. He's running it down to a condensate drain, which is handy because that's going to make condensate as well. And he's also got that plumbed into his condensate drain. Yeah. Smart. So this is one of the most efficient HRVs in the market that we can buy in Canada. Um, really hard to compare this to say a Zender because Zender of course can't test down to those cold temperatures because yep. their coil freezes up and they have a preheat in there yeah. which then voids the energy star uh, testing there. protocol. Yeah. Uh, so frustrating that we can't get the Zenders rated uh, but uh, yeah we love the Van E's. Uh, of course if you notice all the ducts are properly sealed. Yep, these look uh, great man, I love seeing that. So we'll do a duct blast test on this uh, a little bit later just to make sure that we have a really tight system, and if we need to do any uh, balancing, uh, then we'll get that done. And then uh, this is also combined, this provides all our bathroom exhaust. Uh, Are you yeah. familiar with a Posh timer? You know, your guy gave me a tour a little bit ago. We'll, we'll lace in some uh, video of it, but that Posh timer, what he was showing me is it's got a couple speeds, and it looks like an old school um, uh, register that's a circle on the wall, and the, the inlet actually moves based on calling for more timing. Tell me more about that. So it's a motorized damper. Okay. So we'd have a low voltage wire uh, from the controller on the wall in the bathroom mm -hmm. that comes back here. So it does two things. The lights that you see is time. Okay. So the top light is 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 15, 5 minutes. Gotcha. You set how long you want the HRV to run for. It steps up the speed on the HRV to high, opens that motorized damper. Uh, it provides all the required bathroom exhaust. That's cool. We constantly get people who are worried about the mirror not being able to defog. I've never had a complaint yet. And it's super quiet, right? Because the motor is down here, so you're not hearing a thing up in that yeah. bathroom. It makes for whisper. People complain that the bathroom fans aren't working. Yeah, and, they're t and it's totally sucking yeah, out. You, you take a piece of toilet paper and hold it up there. <laughs> yep, sucks right up. Yeah. Bob, I really appreciate having me out. Right. Beautiful house, but well built. And that's the key, right? That's what we talk about all the time. Is yeah. What you can't see matters. Bob, good stuff, man. I really appreciate having me. Right. Well, really exciting to have you here. My, my team has been talking about you for years. <laughs> Uh, very so, kind uh, of you. They were all very excited that you were coming to see one of our houses. So thanks thanks very much for making the trip to Canada. Totally, man. I appreciate it. And a beautiful mechanical room as well. All right. Yeah. All right, Bob. I'll all see right. you soon, guys. Cheers. We'll see you in all the right. next house. Thanks very much. Cheers. All right. Our third and final video from Whistler. That's a wrap. Thanks to Bob and his crew from RDC Fine Homes. Some great builders there. And apparently they've been following me on the build show for a while. So it was really fun to meet those guys. Now, if you got some time over the holidays, don't forget about buildshownetwork.com. If you're not familiar, that's the website that I developed earlier this year, and I've recruited three other fantastic builders to shoot videos at their job sites that they're calling the Build Show as well. So every single day of the week, we've got a new video on buildshownetwork.com. There's a link on there to sign up for our weekly newsletter so you can get a wrap-up of everything that's new. I highly recommend that. It's one email on Friday mornings buildshownetwork.com slash newsletter so you can sign up for that. Guys, thanks for following me. I really appreciate this. We're back to Tuesday and Friday next week, but we thought we'd try something a little different for Christmas week. Hopefully you've had a great week with your family. Happy New Year's, my friends. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.